retirement. Is that on the horizon for you? Well, to help you get you there is uh, Fred and James and Marshallden from uh, Two Roads Financial Center in Ancaster. Good to meet you guys. Thanks for coming on the show. Our pleasure. Father, Thanks. son, yep. right? Yes. What's it like working with dad? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been great. Yeah. Very similar personalities, so it's uh, nothing nothing too difficult yeah, to deal with. Like, what's it like having James? Uh, he had a terribly messy bedroom as a kid, but probably the most organized person I've ever worked with. So it's a real good change. Yeah, there, real different. So that's yeah. a little tip to everybody out there. If you have a messy yeah, bedroom, don't worry they, about the messy bedroom. <laughs> they, you'll figure it when out. They, yeah. When they get to the office, uh, it's incredible the discipline. When did you start focusing on retirement, Fred? Uh, it's, it's probably now 25 years, roughly, been in the financial services business. So. Noticed a gap way back then. People were focusing on, and especially companies, were focusing on accumulating money, saving for retirement. And I said, you know, there's really nobody who's specializing in, you know, helping somebody who's entering that phase of life retirement. Has so, has that changed? Not really. No, 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 not really. We still find that, you know, when when we meet people, they say, geez, you know, my guy or. My, the company I've been working with has been great, but they really don't seem to understand the topics that you're talking about. Yeah. You know, whether it's estate planning, the risks around uh, your investments, and uh, looking at sources of income, all that stuff. So. When, James, when's the time that we need to be really focusing on retirement? Is there an age? Uh, <clears throat> it's really oh, unique. Yeah, I'm yeah. 40, I'm 44. Yeah, you probably start. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's unique. Like, to our, our, like our RSPs, like that's been like a thing oh, yeah, that I would, yeah. but yeah, like sure, really yeah. start to like so like coming up on like maybe for me hopefully like 20 years. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. That's yeah, you, unique to each person. Um, some people love to work. Some people want to be done as quickly as they can. Right. Um, so it's going to depend on kind of your your family's goals, the, the lifestyle that you're living. Um, but it is important. We we always encourage people start to look at it as as soon as you can, because yeah. then you have the ability to plan if if there's some type of shortfall. You know, if it doesn't look like yeah. you will be able to go when you want to. So because that because that leads into the money question. Like yeah. how much how much money do you need? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's it's really going to be like I said, pretty unique. Um, we, we always focus on getting to know the clients and their families, their lifestyles. Right. Mm -hmm. We we find it it translates really well if you're. If you like to travel while you're working, if you're a homebody, that's going to be the situation when you retire. Things aren't going to change too much, right? right. Um, so if we can understand that, you can really look at, okay, we know what your income requirements are going to be as a family. Um, and then from there, we can say, well, how are you going to provide that income to you, right? All these different sources. You mentioned RSPs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, some companies have pension plans that you'll receive. You have government pensions like old age security, CPP. So. Well, the government is always changing things too when it comes to tax time. We're in we're into tax time. Busy time around the office, I'm assuming, Fred. It is a very busy time, yeah. And you know, when you enter retirement, one of the things we have to do, as James mentioned, was look at all the different income sources. So when you're working, you pay tax on your on your salary. That's mm -hmm. about it. But when you're retired, you have you know five six different sources of income: pensions, liras, RSPs. And you have to understand all the tax rules about uh, all of those things. So it is a very busy time for us at the office, but there's a lot of value in that, right? That's really, you know, when we talk about being retirement specialists, that's really how we're unique because so, we focus on that. So if you have a financial advisor, yes, can you have you guys too, or do, do you get rid of the financial advisor Typic and just have you? Typically not. Uh, we're we're that person. You know, if you think of a, a medical situation, general practitioner. But now you have a, a certain ailment, you need a specialist. We're that phase of life, that retirement phase of life. We're the specialist. So we have people who come to us and say, I've really enjoyed working with the company I've been working with, but they don't seem to understand the issues in this phase of life, retirement, and that's really where our expertise is. Yeah, and you know, we're, we're, estate we're, planning, tax. I was going to say, that. things are always changing them too, I'm assuming, James, like yeah. Keeping, yeah. keeping up on all. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's something that we always have to keep an eye on. Um, and that's why we find that. Or we believe that taxes are so important in a retirement plan, right? Um, you're always looking at how can we ensure, obviously, a person is paying as little tax as possible. That's always top of mind for people, but um, people don't realize you can also have government pensions that get affected by your income, right? Clawbacks, you have mm -hmm. tax credits mm -hmm. that you should be entitled to, but you might not be because of how you're drawing an income source. So. Is this guy ever going to retire? No, uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? Then we have to look into the future, right? Yeah. What's the estate, estate look like? Yeah, right? there you go. Factor. Oh, that's for yeah. our next conversation. Yeah. Uh, TwoRealsFinancial.com. Uh, Fred and, uh, and James, thanks for coming on and, and helping yeah. us out. Can I throw out a birthday wish to a nice retiree? Yeah. Okay, my sister Shirley. Shirley! Happy birthday, sis. <laughs> Happy birthday, Shirley. 39 again. Love you. 39. You know how to do it. <laughs> we'll be back with more Morning Live on your Friday after Thank this. You. Yeah. Happy birthday, Shirley! <laughs>